Hello everyone. Today we'll see how to do home composting. So here you can see I have a few uh, ingredients in front of me. Um, I have my vegetable uh, peels. So today I made uh, brinjal. So I have all these brinjal scraps, and uh, these are all guava uh, peels. And um, I've also collected some more, um, you know, kitchen waste. I have some eggshells here, some tomatoes, carrot peels, and I've also, if you see, I've added some. Uh, I had, uh, I have added my coffee grounds and my um, tea uh, leaves as well. So you can see my coffee grounds and tea uh, powder as well here. So all this can go into your compost. Most of the fruits and vegetable peels uh, can be used for uh, uh, composting. Uh, except for uh, citrus peels, I think citrus peels can be easily used in making your own uh, bioenzyme. So I keep that aside. Most of the acidic uh, fruits and vegetables can be uh, left out of this. Uh, for example, in um, vegetables, onions, uh, garlic, ginger, uh, these are the things slightly more acidic and more aromatic. So probably if you just have a small space, um, or you're doing a home uh, composting I think you can avoid these uh, few of these uh, fields rest of everything you can add into your uh, compost and also make sure you avoid uh, putting cooked food or dairy products or meat or bones or things like that which shouldn't be added to the compost it's strictly only vegetable and fruit peels and probably you can add, like I said eggshells can be added and uh, tea and coffee grounds uh, can be used once can be um, added to this as well these are all our green matter whatever you know the leaf peels or if you have an excess weeds growing in your garden you could pull them out and that also can go into your compost uh, very easily apart from that we need apart from the green matter we also need the brown matter so for brown matter you can use uh, the coconut husk uh, I have kept it here I have from the few coconuts I uh, used yesterday and these are some cardboard uh, paper if you don't have these uh, coconut uh, um, husks you can always use the cardboard peels but make sure the cardboard peels uh, cardboard shreds are uh, not uh, painted or not coated with something it should be your uh, regular recycled uh, cardboard paper and um, you can always uh, add dried leaves to this pile as well so anything that is you know not brown dried up uh, can can go into or uh, this straw uh, things like this so this is basically the brown matter uh, which are which is the um, carbon source for the compost and the green matter here the vegetable peels etc they are the green uh, part which is nitrogen source so these are the two essential components of uh, composting so let's see what else we need for this we need a container like this so i have a container uh, i bought a small uh, i had a bucket with me so i just took it and i uh, made some uh, holes in it i made a perforation as you can see uh, slightly at uh, different intervals and also a perforation at the bottom so i have also made holes at the bottom so the water uh, the, the, to remove the excess uh, moisture at the same time for air circulation okay so let's see what else we need for uh, our composting uh, you can have a container like this any container which has uh, holes all over for air circulation because this is aerobic composting we need air inside the container so I have taken this uh, bucket uh, which has a lid too so I am going to use this container I have made um, holes all, all around it and it's uh, ready so we can use something like this also and you can use anything else that's available with you any old container with a lid uh, to secure it close so first thing we do is we need to add the brown matter into the compost bin so I'm adding the brown part into it so and then you layer it with your green 
tomato. So I'm adding all this. And uh, once we put in our green matter, uh, you should try to cover it with the brown matter on top of it. This is to ensure that there are, you know, um, no flies or anything coming and uh, sitting on it on the pile. And uh, we can cover this up. So the next time when you get more peels, you can add some more peels to it and then add the brown matter on top of it so you keep alternating between green and brown leave the brown on the top and wait for the greens that you get next day so in this manner we can continue doing it keep the lid closed we can always add uh, some of some uh, buttermilk or uh, curd and sprinkle it over this so that it actually uh, enhances or it uh, speedens up the composting process it makes it quickens it so you can add a little bit of sprinkling of buttermilk now and then and make sure that the pile is actually moist but not too soggy or runny there should not be too much moisture at the same time it shouldn't be completely dry as um, dry as well so make sure that you do this keep in mind about these few things and your compost will be ready in about um, uh, two to three months you'll have a nice brown um, or a brown to black matter which is uh, partially decomposed and you can start using it once it's all powdery and uh, good to, it's good to go so every day keep adding the green matter and the brown matter alternatively and keep stirring it as and when you uh, open it and stir it and close it and in three months time you will start having seeing this kind of uh, fine powdery uh, thing you will also have big chunks but if you sieve it once you will get this a uh, nice even sized particles and you can use this compost for your garden